All right, in our other top stories tonight, the work continues to get people living at the homeless camp off I-90, state-issued IDs, and driver's licenses. Those efforts have been going on now for several weeks, and Creme 2's Nathan Hyun has an update on how much progress state officials have already made. The Department of Licensing is here at the homeless encampment by I-90 and Freya, issuing state IDs and driver's license. And I'm told over the last five weeks, the DOL has issued over 200 state IDs. Carlos Loera has been homeless for more than seven years. He says it's taken him until now to get any form of ID. I was getting um, complications from the other side and getting my birth certificates. Over here, they were just able to look up my information and all that, and just like that, they gave me my ID. So Carlos is one of 267 people that got their ID in the past month. Now that he has his, he says he plans to look for a job. I, had, I haven't had an ID for like about seven years because I just came from California and I heard that they were giving IDs over here. So I came in and they helped me really good. Very happy. I'm able to get a job. I'm able to vote now. Workers with the Department of Licensing say so many people at the homeless camp wanted to get their IDs and licenses that they extended the program two extra weeks. It's been a great reception. We've seen many tears of people that are so happy that we just met one individual that had not had an ID card for 10 years and they got their ID card here. Also today, WashDOT announced they've completed their census at the homeless camp. Officials say 465 people have badges to enter the camp and no new people will be allowed in. The Department of Licensing tells me that they're able to give out state IDs and driver's license for free from funds they have from the Department of Commerce and the Empire Health Foundation. In Spokane, Nathan Hunt, Creme 2 News.